you. Uh, so the next part of this is, do you guys wish that James Gunn stayed at Marvel? Hmm, that's a hard question. Um, I honestly, if James, I like that James Gunn finished his arc with Guardians of the Galaxy three. Now, if he wouldn't didn't want to didn't have that controversy, and was fired and rehired. Well, I'm pretty fault. sure uh, Feige was grooming him in a good way because you can be groomed in a good way. It's not always gro groomed in a good way to take over some of the stuff at, in, on the MCU, and he could have been in the Avengers. But honestly, if uh, uh, <laughs> Elnacron is just saying, yes, I wish Gunn stayed at Is that what you mean, Elnacron? I wish he stayed at Marvel. <laughs> uh, but if he stayed well, at Marvel... I don't honestly, even if James Gunn didn't take over, I still don't think we would be getting the Snyderverse restored under Zazla. No, I don't think that's even an. No, I'm just what, saying. I but but my other part of that though, Bruce, is I don't know what would be happening at DC if James Gunn didn't take over. I don't know. If, I think they <laughs> might have just if they didn't announce James Gunn when he did. I think we just wouldn't be getting any movies developed right now. Is what my thoughts would be. I think it would have been a rock. And, and no, I no, I don't think I don't think anything would be moving forward. I think it's full steam ahead because of how much James Gunn takes on himself right now. Yeah, all you know, and, and James Gunn is very lucky to have a job at all. Yeah. After everything he did on Twitter at the time. Yeah. You know. Um. You know. Ellen <laughs> says we were inches away until Gunn popped up. But here, here, here's here's what I'm saying, El Necron. I know they announced Cavill back. They might not have announced that he's not going to return as Superman, but they just wanted to develop it. That's the thing. Okay, we announced it, and then you're like, well, what's the progress on it? Development hell? Have you heard of development hell? I honestly think the situation, if James Gunn didn't take over, would be like, oh, we'll work on this with Henry. The box office sucked, though, so we're, it's, it's not a high priority. No, I honestly no. don't think they would be rushing into it because it, look at DC now. The only thing new that's being developed was the um, Todd Phillips Joker 2 with Lady Gaga, which Todd Phillips was already working on that, you know, by the time Zaslov took over, I think at least. And the Penguin, which was already under production, but nothing else that's going into production is it, it's just guns forward momentum of, of writing himself getting this done i honestly think dc would have been put on ice after because they announced it but then they also had the flash box office the blue beetle box office black adam box office and aquaman 2 box office hold up and i want to have to push back with that okay aquaman shazam blue beetle and the, uh, that's the, those box offices would have been fine if James Gunn would have stayed at Marvel because he would have never announced his slate and people would have went and go, went to see them. Just saying. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. But I think, the quality, was slate bad. I think the quality was subpar enough that they still would have done. They think they could have done better, but not really good where I think after the, if they didn't announce James Gunn already by the end of the last year's DC theatrical run, I think it would just be blackout for DC besides Batman projects. Honestly, that's my honest thoughts. Oh yeah, we we announced Henry Cavill. We'll work on it, and then nothing would move forward. That's just my opinion. I, I mean, it's lots of different scenarios could happen. I do all I do agree, um, Bruce, that it took a lot of wind out of the sails of DC fans once the slate was announced. But I don't, and I do think it would have been slightly better. But the quality of those movies is a little bit subpar to me, and I don't think it would have attracted. Well, the we, well we don't know what what it's, changes that he yeah. made that that's could true. have affected the story. Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. Uh, he blew. <laughs> this is this is El Necron's take. Gun basically came through the back door and pulled the carpet out. He blew the magic smoke up Sazal's ass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Gun has come through the back door many times. Yeah, I, 
Anthony, the only DC movies that would happen is the Batman Joker. I mean, that's honestly my thoughts. And be, uh, the we're, only we're, reason we're, we're heading to a, a time when superhero movies are going to be dead anyway. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're keeping they're keeping the industry alive. Just put them on streaming. They they just need to be more selective. Which it's just not. Movie industry in streaming is not the comic book industry. I and you think can't have you, you can't have every character have a spotlight. Unfortunately, like a whole uh, their own series. They they may just have to. They really need to just be okay with some characters just showing up in movies and not have their whole movie as series. You know, I, and also I I don't know. I think there's a there's a transition period going on from superhero movies to people looking more into video game movies. Mm -hmm. uh, this the is the comment. Is this is the comment of the night. Thank you, Jade. Kathleen Kennedy has perfected the art of development hell. <laughs> Chris Pratt is Batman. No, I don't want to see that. Oh, I mean, I I wouldn't be a. I don't want to ever say no, but Oof. I don't I don't see him as Batman. Maybe you can play Alfred. Okay, but that's the first episode of the Power Hour. Let us know. Give us the feedback in the community or uh, in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Go sub to my pal Bruce, the king of nerds.